No, I don't. Shit just got real. Oh, do I have to just stay here? Oh, completely healed. Follow the instructions. Well done. I have something important to tell wow, you. Wow, that's bright. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable. Drive you again. away? Here, take the light. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Now you'll die. Correct. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. Have I done that well? That is all. I will give you back your dream now. In the night. Terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. So let me guess, I have to go there. You made me this way, and now I'm gonna... This is it, witch! Where you at, bro? Fuck out of here. You only ship for a bitch.
Okay. Awesome. You guys cute. Hopefully I'm not misusing those. I can keep this up. I know flares are the bomb in this game. Uh do I run? Run toward the light lighthouse. Let's just fucking go. Oh shit. Oh. oh no. Don't get tired, bro. What's happening behind you? Oh, just keep just keep running. Dude, you suck. You just suck. So can I pick that up? Pick up coffee thermals. Oh, Coffee as a collectible. Run, Alan, run. Big shadowy spider, I'm turning this game off right fucking now. He's here. Shh, baby, just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. So quaint. Trust no one. This is the type of town where people get fucking buried in the mountain in the background there. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Ellen Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance to get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. I'm sure you do. You'd probably like to take a stab at my wife, if you know what I'm saying. Very nice. 
I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. That was my favorite writer. Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. Let's just throw the fucking phone in the river. Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. I bet if I searched, I could have found another coffee mug. The landlord, a Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Don't do it. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking Mr. for- Mr. Wake, Alan, Wake. Oh God, I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer Do human. me a favor, Sonny! I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Now that's what I'm talking about, yes! This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Alright, let's find Carl Stuckey. In the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. Um. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. What the fuck was that about? Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You scare the shit out of me, lady. Fuck this place. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you alright? Splendid! Splendid! 
<laughs> Damn hernia. It swells up like a bull. The Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Bye, Mr. Wake. Bye. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! This is Wake! Your... Your keys! The hell? That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. You're not getting back home. We can talk about this later. Let's we'll just face it. You ain't getting back home, bro. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. This could be bad. Diver's Isle. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. No. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Hello? Anyone here? Fuck this game. I don't trust you. The fuck? Oh God. Your best guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist, no less. The water was clear but dark. It looked very deep. That's where the bodies have been stored. I don't know about this, folks. This have the so much for keeping a low profile. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Come on, you're an author. A shed. Oh. This shed. Thanks. old generator had been connected to the power cable. Let there be light. No gang banging in New York tonight. Up a bit and start settling in. 
Okay, I'll look around a bit. Sure the thing. island had I'm once on. been the site for a love story. Maybe it was... Oh boy. It was a beautiful place. No, it really I isn't. I I could rest it's here. really not a beautiful Sleep place. Here and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Alice? Honey? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Oh, buddy! Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's not cool. Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn it, Alice, you- Everyone hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? Oh, I don't, shit. just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh, you're a jackass. Damn it. Alice? Dark. All the lights were out. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice! I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! Help! Help! What the hell? Whacked, man. Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare. You just crashed. What? I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Oh my God. Among Alice's things was a book. The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. The gas station was my best bet. Where's your fly have a flash on you, use. fucking jackass? It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Not good, bro. I have nothing to defend myself. Must be safe. Right? Just, I'll just jump, man. It's over. Hello? It's the light. 
Hello? Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Great. Fucking great. Departure by Alan Wake. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out this in is the darkness cool. of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. Hmm. No. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Oh, uh, what? This is this entire thing's an accident. Like, why? Why would you do this? Why am I here? I don't play horror games, even though the lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Oh, you fucking idiot! It's not the sharpest tool in the shed. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Hey! Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident. I need help. Deposit. Listen, I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Nightfall! Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Please, to beat you. non refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. Um. Yeah, let's just take a look at the manuscript page. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. I don't... Uh... Oh shit, fuck. Run. Go. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Yeah. So I've been to have a flashlight and a revolver. Batteries are good to have. During your trying, it's the latest. Yes. Right fall sheriff station. Hello? One. This is bad. What the fuck? I 
I just died. Team? During your... I guess I'll just stay near that door over there. It's the latest thing. In... Yes. Proven... Right fall, no. Sheriff Station. Let's Only at... Hello? Hello? You can see the sights and keep those cholesterol! Get out. Good, we good. Oh, thank you. How nice. I want a piece of this. Hmm. My head pounded with a concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone. Or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real not to make me sick. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Oh, fuck you. I saw the river below. Something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. The fuck him. That's why I say fuck him. <gasps> what? Oof. More in a beam. Huh? He's sleeping good. Oh, he's been too good. He really hasn't wanted to do anything, I want. Not really. I turned the heat on because he just like wanted to cuddle with me the entire time. Well, he's sleeping pretty nice here. Taken. They're taken. <sighs> e 
eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Where are we going? Okay. Okay, yeah, let me see if I can't get to a save point here. to be something to do up here. I don't know what to do. No. Yep. FaceTimed her. She saw Odie. So cute. more of a cat person but she wants a dog she said she was jealous Good more than he is a pain in the butt. <laughs> I'm stuck. I don't know where to go. Staircase was broken. Oh. I had to make my way up some other way. Oh, revolver ammo. Thank you. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site.
There's a coffee mug down there. Let me get it. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Trap. That we bro. No, you're too close for my liking. Wrecked. Good. I think. It's right there. All right. Ow. Let me stop doing that. Go back over here, I guess. Oh. Okay. Good. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Player gun, let's go. Takes an old man like me. Wish I could just roam wild. But here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Oh man, I missed two pages? Oh well. Yes, that's that.
The gas station was closer now, its light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the street. Barry Burster is the best with no coat. Monster Dog is second best. The famous dog is... intense Oh, you motherfuckers think so. Ooh, shotgun. Give me some shotgun ammo. Oh, you motherfuckers are done, bro. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. Destroyed. 
wrecked. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reached the lights of the gas station alive. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. Stucky spat in the garage. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel a presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell a perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix her. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. Rightball Sheriff Station. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. A little bit. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. of episode one. Dope. A candy -colored clown, they call Pretty cool. Sandman. I'm gonna call it there. Tiptoes Gotta get ready for Mother's Day. And just a sprinkle stardust and a whisper Go to sleep Thank you all for watching. Right. Hope you have a wonderful day as well. Peace. I close